Hi everyone and welcome back to another Iron Man Progress video. This is episode number 95 and I'm kicking things off at Bandos. In the last episode I racked up a fair few kills, uh, picking up the pet along the way and plenty of chest plates and tassets but I'm still looking for the boots and hoping that I can get that relatively quickly and then uh, can move on to some other PVM stuff. So yeah, hope you all enjoy the video. And that is 900 General Grad or KC. Is this going to be the third God Wars boss in a row that I have to go over 1k to finish up getting all the drops? We shall see. And there we have it. That is 1000 General Grad or KC. I was hoping I might be able to mark the occasion with a pair of boots. Sadly not. Um, maybe I'll get a little bit luckier when I head back to Sara God Wars. We shall see. Well, there is another drop. It is a Bandos Hilt, which I already have. Um, I, can't, I genuinely can't remember if that's my fourth or my fifth one now. Or my third. Just, yeah, I've just completely lost track. And there is a shard from the minion. Well, I turned the hilt into a god sword, and it turns out it is my third one overall. And there's another shard. Uh, shard two this time. This boss is driving me up the wall. That is my seventh Bandos chest plate. I don't understand. The The next drop better be the boots. I'm, I'm sure it will be. I love this game! <laughs> I suppose I should be grateful those weren't the boots because if I'd have uh, lost those to the Max Cape Ring of Life teleport, which I didn't realise was activated, I would have been very pissed off. Yes, oh, it happened at long last, and I picked him up before I died. 1,137 kills. The sad thing is, really, I would actually quite like two pairs of boots because you can't turn these into the Guardian boots and use them for the Master Step at the same time, as far as I'm aware. Um, but finally, Bandos complete, very happy. So this is the final loot from 1137 General Grado kills, obviously missing the extra pair of tacits, which is a shame. I'm actually a little bit bummed about that, but um, moving onwards now to Commander Zoyana. Two drops left to go. Uh, I've already got 495 kills, so nearly on drop rate for the hilt. Certainly hoping I don't go dry and hoping I don't go as dry as I did for the hilt at Zami. That would be true pain. Um, if I get the hilt before I get the sword, I, I really don't think I'll, I'll continue on and go for it because it's just such a useless item. Um, but yeah, not been to Sara in a while. Let's see how we get on. First drop back at Sara, and it is a Sara Domin's Light. I think that's my fourth one I've had of these so far. Picking up an Elite Clue from Sara, what can we get? Ooh, holy wraps. For some reason I've got a feeling that I've had these before, but it was just before the collection log. I'm going to check. Either way, that's pretty cool to see. 179 Elite Clues done now, so getting closer to that 200 milestone for the Heavy Casket. Let's have a look. Yep, I thought so. My second pair. And this is a 47 kill trip, which I'm pretty sure is a PB for me. Yeah, if I get lucky on the Prayer Potion and Restore Drops, um, can get pretty lengthy trips, which is nice. Well, that is a familiar drop and my fifth Sara Domin's Light. Still not seen a Sara Sword. I'm over five times the drop rate for one of those now, which is uh, kind of strange. Well, there we go. It's another Sara Domin's Light. Um, will I ever see a Sara Sword? I would quite like to. Hey, there we go. It took 702 kills, but uh, I did get my Sara Sword. So just one drop left to go at God Wars and it is the hilt. Hopefully we don't go too dry for that. Oh yes, there it is. 721 kills and we're done with God Wars. I have every single item, uh, barring the pets. Um, wow, I really thought I was gonna go very dry for that. A little bit shell-shocked, I have to say. So here we have the final kill counts and the final loot from what ended up being 5,304 God Wars boss kills, which is pretty insane. I um, have to say, very happy to finish Zilyana. 
um, at just over 700 kill count. Nice to finish one of the bosses under 1000 and a pretty ridiculous amount of loot. Uh, missing one Sarodome's Light which I consumed to remove the darkness effect from uh, Zami God Wars and of course uh, those Bandos Tacits which uh, I won't go into. Uh, but let's give this a quick price check. Wow. 769 mil worth of loot which is pretty crazy I mean 200 mil over 200 mil worth of uh, Zami spears alone um, which just uh, goes to show how ridiculous that dry streak at Zami was but uh, yeah very pleased with all of that loot very pleased to be finally done not entirely sure what is next on the agenda but very satisfied to say that I have completed all of the drops at God Wars so quite conveniently my clan is running a bingo event for the next week which is going to give me an opportunity to run around and do um, quite a varied bit of content. I'll post the board up on the screen. I'm going to be starting off with some barrows. I would like to try and finish my Darox and Guthan sets and it'll be good for elite clues as well. So let's see what we can get. First item coming in and it's a unique one for the log. The aim for the bingo is to complete an entire set between the team. Um, the items that I'm looking for personally would be the Darox Great Axe, uh, Guthan Spear and Body, and potentially Torex Hammer as well. Those are the four items that I need to uh, finish up Barrows. Another item, Aram's Hood. Not the Darox item that I needed, but that is a Plate Body. And an Aram Staff. Guthan's Helm. This is going to be 1,000 Barrows Chests. Can we get anything good to celebrate? Oof, that's actually pretty terrible, but a uh, very nice milestone. Two elite clues to open, can we do better with these? A hey, master clue, very nice, I'll go and do that. All right, master clue done. I'm gonna open this other elite first, just in case I can get another master and open that back to back. Nope, but what are we getting from this? Nothing. Hey, a dark bow, it's nothing that I need for the bingo, but that's actually my first one on the account. I've killed about a thousand dark beasts, um, but because the tasks are so small, it kind of feels like I've been quite dry for that. So nice to see. That's exactly what I was looking for. We need to get DK's ring for a bingo tile. So I'm going to head over there and see if I can get lucky. Um, not been to DK's in a while. It'd be kind of cool to test out the new Bow of Ferdinand to see how that shapes up against Prime. Hey, that did not take too long at all. A Sears ring and that is going to be the tile completed for the bingo, which is very nice. Picked up a couple of clues. Can we get anything good? Not really. Hey, that is another drop for the bingo. Went like a thousand kills dry for this. So yeah, I've been here a while, but nice to pick that up. Always a nice drop to see. Elite clue from Seracnus, what can we get? Absolutely nothing. Oh, nice, got the Seracnus cudgel, which is another tile on the bingo board. That is kind of nice to see. We we're sort of hoping I get a few more elite clues, but I will take that. It's worth 260k, I thought it would be a bit more, but there we go. And that is it for today's episode. I hope you have all enjoyed watching. It's been so good to finish up God Wars this episode. That has been such a long-term goal for me. And uh, finally picking up the Bandos boots and the Sarah hilt um, was just really, really nice. Uh, the bingo was good fun as well. It's still running for a couple more days, but I'm actually heading on holiday today, so not going to see out the final two days of bingo. My team's done pretty well. These are the tiles that we've managed to scratch off in seven days, so we've made pretty good progress there. Um, yeah, as I said, heading away on holiday, so not going to be playing for the next few weeks. And I think the next episode is probably going to be quite delayed because of that. Um, when I do get back and start playing again, I've got one thing on my mind, and that is the Inferno. I'm really motivated to try and get an Inferno cape before the end of the year and before the next league starts. So let's see how we get on with that. It might just be an episode of uh, progress, lots of deaths, I imagine. Um, but we'll see how we get on. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to drop a like. And if you want to stay up to date with all the newest videos in the series, feel free to subscribe as well. And until next time, take care.